The state's new bail reform law means that judges cannot detain people for a lot of crimes anymore. So what happens if they don't show up for court? And as we hear from two on your sides, Dave McKinley tonight, prosecutors are just getting a handle on this new reality. An article in the Jamestown Post Journal has it that since the bail reforms went into effect, there's been 107 occasions in that city where folks charged with crimes for which bail can no longer be set have failed to show up in court. We wanted to know how many times it's happened in Buffalo City Court, but the clerk there told us they don't keep numbers on that, and we got a similar response from the Office of Court Administration, which oversees all courts in Western New York. Erie County DA John Flynn doesn't know either, other than to say... It happens every day. But he'd like to find out. We are meeting tomorrow with the representatives in OCA that cover the justice courts, and we're going to see if we can't devise some kind of a system to track it. Under bail reform, there's now a lengthy list of charges, including felonies, for which a judge cannot set bail. Instead, the person charged is given an appearance ticket. Before bail reform, if they didn't show up in court here, a judge would issue a bench warrant for their arrest. But now there is a 48 hour grace period during which all efforts have to be made to contact the accused and remind them they need to come in. And if they don't, then it can issue the bench warrant. But even if you are then brought in on a bench warrant, then what happens? You walk out the door. He can't hold you. Even though I was brought in on a bench warrant for not showing up. Correct. Correct. But I got another court date probably set. You get another court date set up. I don't show up for that. Okay, N not now. Now, what might seem like a revolving door can be stopped if the prosecutor is granted a hearing to attempt to convince a judge that someone is willfully and persistently trying to avoid justice by not showing up. And I want you to set bail. Can you do that after two or you got to wait till four well, or six? Well, <laughs> we don't know the answer to that question yet. <laughs> we're we're going to try after two, okay? But that's up to a judge, as is the criteria for willful and persistent. The only guidance so far by the court system is that they, they've been given the mandate to go in the Webster's Dictionary and look up what willful and persistent means. Until we get case law on this that actually spells out what willful persistent is, then it's up to each individual judge. Prosecutors can also push for a hearing to set bail on someone charged with a crime and released if they reoffend while their case is pending, such as the case with Sherman Price, who was charged with felony burglary, made his initial appearance, but then allegedly committed several more burglaries. Well, today, a Cheektowaga judge sided with prosecutors at such a hearing and ordered Price held on $50,000. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.